understand that, but I, 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 I've been relieved. The correlation between the health. But I well, well, I've been relieved the fact that so far, so far, they don't see it as a health issue. They haven't okay. seen an uptick. So in students going home because of a lousy smell is different than a health risk. Well, I don't know that. Okay. So we classify our quality. We classify our quality as either good, nuisance, moderate, unhealthy, or very unhealthy based on those hydrogen sulfide levels. Not surprisingly, air quality has not been good. Right? Routinely, we're in that nuisance range. So the, the hydrogen sulfide levels are routinely in nuisance range. That means that people are going to feel nauseous, headaches, nonspecific symptoms. You're going to have trouble breathing, which means those with uh, pre-existing conditions are going to have even more trouble. So um, we do think this is a health issue. We think it affects people's quality of life. We would agree it's unacceptable. So um, we haven't seen more severe medical problems. We do active surveillance. We monitor symptoms, um, medical use. Um, so but that, you don't need to go to those extremes to, to recognize that this impacts what we want people to do to maintain healthy lives. People don't want to go outside. Um, and even when they're inside, um, those others can affect their ability to enjoy life. So um, we would, we're glad that they haven't exceeded nuisance range so far. We have no indication they have. We're going to do additional monitoring with DEM. It's possible that, that higher levels are found in areas remote from the uh, landfill. It's not what you initially expect, but it is possible. So we'll check that out. But uh, it certainly has impacted people's um, active, healthy lifestyles. Um, it's impacted their enjoyment of life. Um, we, we consider that a health effect. No, no severe medical problems, no information that, we, that it's causing that. But um, that doesn't mean it's not unacceptable. Yes? How would it spread? Obviously, it's affecting other communities. So, you know, we are, um, our major concern is our community first. We also want to make sure that our neighbors are not, you know, uh, Rep. Conneval represents lots of problems. He's getting hammered because he's right at the fringe there. So he's getting hammered with phone calls. So I understand what you're saying, and, and if the situation is real bad, then we will, I will talk to the associate director of DEM, Terry Gray, and we'll put a monitor on your property. We want, look, I think our concern is to find out exactly in this town where, where the, the real battle is. And it's some, unfortunately, it's intermittent because it kind of travels. I've never smelled it before, and I was smelling it in my house a couple of months back. How so, many complaints have you received about this? Uh, we, we average, it depends. You know, we may get 20, 25 calls a day. You know, it, you know to answer that question correctly, it depends how bad it is. You know, before, as I said before, we always had an odor. You'd go out and go, oh, yeah, it's a lamp. And I was like, oh, my God, it's disgusting. So it really has impeded the quality of life for our citizens. On a bad day, you get as many as 25. Oh, 25, 30, 40 calls. Have you ever added up all the calls, though? Uh, no, but I can tell you, resource recovery has is keeping a record uh, of, of the calls. And you can see, you know, they show those graphs and charts. You can see in one particular area, and, and I'm, I'm trying to be very cautious because I don't want to give my game, game plan away, but you can see in one particular area when the collection really kind of went down, the calls increased. The collection of the gas, whether it was the flares. How you how, so? How do you monitor what, when collection is taking place and when it isn't? How do you determine that in your monitoring? Uh, we don't, but Resource Recovery does. So they're, they're giving reports on when the collection is not is happening or not happening? Or? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes. Uh, I don't want to expose our game plan, Mark, because uh, it's got to No, but I think we can, uh, we can tell you that around Resource Recovery has been very open and cooperative in sharing information with us. Um, as a result, uh, as I said, we're in the midst of our data collection, um, we met with them even last evening, and they agreed to provide us with some more um, data collection information. Um, one of the uh, interesting things that we've learned, uh, for instance, when the mayor um, says that um, one of the things he would like to see is additional flares go up on the property um, in order to um, destroy the gas, one of the things that we've learned through our data collection that has been shared with us by Renown Resource Recovery that um, a flare um, identified as remote flare number three um, was located in phase five. And um, <clears throat> Broad Rock removed that flare because of his new construction with his new header coming into that location. 
And for instance, if you look at the data collection in terms of um, when they stop collecting gas on phase five in, a, in an odor-free, at an odor-free level, there's a dramatic change at the very moment remote clear three is removed and placed somewhere else. Um, as a result of that analysis, we've been advised by Renowned Resource Recovery um, that they will be um, ordering Broad Rock today to reinstall Remote Flare 3 at that same location um, where the data shows it was effectively removing um, and destroying gas. And if Broad Rock refuses to do that, Renowned Resource Recovery will take responsibility and do it on its own. Um, as a, in addition to that, in addition to the periodic um, data that they've been, they've been providing to us in gas collection. As a result of our meeting uh, recently with them and last night, uh, they are now committed to providing us with daily readings of their gas collection. Now, a, a Polaroid snapshot, that one day isn't, isn't, frankly, isn't terribly meaningful, but as we collect that on a daily basis, as the charts have shown, um, we'll have much better information to understand where and when and how um, the gas collection um, is not uh, essentially not being done in a way that it will result in an odor-free operation there. So um, they have been providing us with periodic. As of last night, they've essentially agreed to provide us with a daily report um, on, the da on the gas collection. When, when was that number flare, number three flare removed? Do you know what? Um, I'm going to have the, it would have been in. Yeah, it would have been in. Um, May, May of, I, think, I believe on May 1 of, of 2010. And um, what the information shows when you take that date and you put it on a graph showing the gas collection is that the um, gas collection deteriorated significantly and almost immediately with the removal of remote flare 3, which is to say that we do accept the... Um, other contributing factors that were referenced earlier in terms of the water in the wells, um, the uh, um, increase in the, in the cover, um, they are contributing factors, but the information um, certainly leads without resource recovery, as well as the town, to conclude um, that when you see a dramatic change, not a gradual, but a dramatic change, there must have been a precipitating factor on or about that date that led to that dramatic change in um, Broad Rock's collection and destruction of gas. So, so that flare was gone, and in that area, gas has just been growing up. Well, it's, it's been released, it's essentially, it's into the air right. go somewhere. Uh, uh, from that location since that date, is what you're saying. Yes, sir. Mayor, you date the onset of this pungent odor to early September, and yet other people, including this gentleman from Smithfield, says it's starting uh, in the beginning of the summer. We, well, we, saw, we, we saw it getting really bad around September. I want to say the second week in September, would you say? Second, early September. Early September. Early September. Second. So no problems over the summer? No, no, we didn't notice anything. I mean, at least we didn't notice anything. I mean, you get your occasional orders from there, and that's something, unfortunately, we have to live with. Yeah. But it's, now it's just constant. It's steady. And it's not only in your nose, it's in your face. It's I was just, disappointed. I don't smell it today. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>